welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to another Halloween look I am bringing this October. I just want to do like a bunch of like sexy kind of interpretations of Halloween outfit costumes and today we are full blown army girl. I really hope you guys enjoy this transformation. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below any other looks you want to see from me and don't forget to subscribe to a bitch and hit that notification bell to tell you when I upload. Hopefully there's going to be a new video every single day the rest of this month with two videos coming on some of the days to make sure I make those 31 looks this October and yeah, without further ado, let's get on with this transformation, shall we? Thanks for watching. So, wow, that's already a bit of a transformation, right? So, I already have my body bronzer on as well as my breast contour, so we're just going to be doing my face makeup. To add a little bit of hydration, I'm going to go with my Mary Bescu facial spray and then use my Becca Backlight Priming Filter to add that gorgeous lip from within a glow and then fill in my pores using my Pixi Primer. I'm going to go a little bit quick through the rest of my foundation base since I will leave my full coverage highlight and contour routine for drag down below, but pretty much super full coverage Cryolan TV Paint 6 in the shade 3W and 7W for my base, 406 for my highlight, and then I use 10W for my contour just to chisel out my features and give me some definition to my round hamster face. And then just buff them all together just so it looks nice and seamless and you are left looking fishy and feminine as fuck. Once I'm happy with how all my creams look, I heavily set down using my Coty Loose Air Spun Powder and I packed a little bit more on the higher points of my face just to bake and highlight a little bit more. And then just quickly filled in my brows off a camera and packed a little bit more powder under my eyes since a lot of green shades tend to fall down or have a lot of fallout and I didn't want it to mess up my foundation. So I first took this gorgeous shade from Makeup Geek and ran it through the crease of my eye and it's kind of like a brown with a very like green undertone to it so I carved like kind of out the shape that I want with that and then I went in with the shade Military, the most fitting name from the Jeffree Star Androgyny palette and just really worked that into my crease like I wanted this to be deep and smoky and green and then I softened it a little bit with the orange shade in the palette and then went in with a really bright green shade from NYX and just heavily packed it onto kind of that inner portion of my brow since I wanted like a colour pop and I still wanted it to lean very green and I was scared it was going to look a little bit too neutral so I added a little bit green to that inner brow region. To carve out my eyelid I went in with my Kevin Acorn Essential Skin Enhancer and just carved out an exaggerated eyelid shape just so it looked a little bit more draggy and so I had more eyelid space to play with. I then set it down using this Tarte Chrome Paint Pot in the shade Top Yacht and it's easy to like apply with your finger like it's so much better but I had to use a brush to kind of cover that entire like lid shape I carved out. I then deepened the outer V and kind of smoked it out using this deeper grey toned black in the Tarte Tartlet and Bloom palette. So I just basically heavily packed it on kind of like how I would do like with winged liner into the outer V of my eye and just buffed it out kind of back towards my temples just to make everything look super smoky and smoldering. I then took a little bit more of that bright green shade and intensified the inner portion of my brow more just so it pulled more green and added something a little bit different to that inner corner of my eye. And I think green eyeshadows are so underrated, like I absolutely love green so much. I then just softened kind of the upper crease area with a little bit more orange and then highlighted my brow bone with a matte white eyeshadow. And then took those same shades, so military, that first initial green shade from Makeup Geek, and then a little bit of the orange under my eyes just to smoke everything out and bring that drama mama. And then packed a little bit of black under just to make it look extra seductive. And then just kind of smoked out that kind of outer V of my eye just to make everything more dramatic. I then just quickly popped on liner. I always say quickly, but girl, it's never quick. And then it set that down with a little bit of black eyeshadow and just smudged it out a little bit just so it made it look a little bit more like grungy and worn in. And then for contour, I took my Makeup Revolution Highlight and Contour Palette and just heavily chiseled out my features and bronzed up using my Too Faced Chocolate Solo Bronzer. For blush, I went in with Milani's Luminoso, which is like a gorgeous peachy orangey toned blush, and then highlighted my kind of central portion of my face again with that Makeup Revolution Highlight and Contour Palette. Just so everything looked a little bit more carved out. For my lips, I went in with Eau Natural from Milani, and then I filled them in with Velvet Teddy from MAC. And then, yeah, for the stripes, I just took that same, like, cream paint palette that I used for my colour correction for my beard, and literally just did a green stripe on my face, and then a black stripe under it. And then I took a mixture of different green shades from my, like, little single eyeshadow palette, and just packed it over the green, just so it looked, like, a little bit shimmery and glittery, and a little bit more extra, like I am. And then I completely forgot about highlighter, but then I took Lucky Clover from the Anastasia Moonchild Glow Kit, which has a green kind of shift to it, and highlighted. And that is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoy this transformation, and thanks for watching. Girlfriend, you gotta get it right. Girlfriend, you gotta